good morning. Welcome to Motivational Monday. How are you? In this video today, I'm going to be talking to you specifically. If you're somebody that's been through something where you somebody has been nasty to you or said a bad comment that you've internalized and blamed yourself. I'm going to tell you the reason why at the end of the video, um, but I want to just dive straight in. Now, at the minute, we've got a little bit of... Um, uh, a stationary traffic situation going on here. So I thought I would be able to get this clear in my mind and explain to you what I mean. And you're gonna know, so many of you actually reach out and say to me, I'm really sure that that message was for me um, because I resonated with it so well at that specific time. If that's you, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And um, like I'm about to do to that lovely driver letting me out into this lane of traffic. Thank you very much, how kind. Um, because it, I like that. That's nice to know that that's kind of helping or making you think or making you feel as though somebody else out there understands. Especially on a Monday because you're starting the week off, aren't you? And you kind of want to, you always sort of like leave the weekend behind and think, yeah, it's a good weekend now. Let's move forward to this week. Um, so if that's you, now this, th there's a couple of different ways. It could be a one-time thing. Almost look at it like you've got chronic disease and acute disease. So chronic is going on and on and on. And that's generally something from like maybe childhood, you might have some deep, deep rooted stuff going on there that's probably never gonna leave you, but you learned how to cope with it and deal with it. And then you've got the one time kind of bully thing. It might be one comment that somebody says that you really take to heart, um, which has kind of really made you question yourself maybe, or think about things. Um, but you know, you should kind of, at a given time be able to brush that off and, and not think too much about it now let me tell you something <sighs> we all have gone through it we all will go through it and people sometimes just don't think they might not mean it to be as it is sometimes people will because there are some evil what's it's out there in the world and I hate to say that because that's a really negative statement but it does happen but I don't want you to sit there and think it's about you, it's something you've done, it isn't. It's about them, maybe it's their opinion, maybe it's something they've set out to be completely nasty about. Like if you was bullied at school, for example, as I was, um, and I'm, I'm kind of thinking about writing a blog post on that and just naming and shaming a little bit because people don't wouldn't realize how miserable they make that person. Um, you know, and we've all heard these stories that of people that really take attention it. traffic problems please excuse me we know that thank you very much lady um so but yeah it's just it's i want this to be about you not about them and what they've done and said and why they've done it but just try and put that over onto them it's really difficult and it does take a long time and, and i'm the I, i've been the world's worst at that in the past but i'm writing a piece at the moment this is my reason for this motivation to do this today um I'm writing a piece at the moment which is incredibly sad and it goes back in the past and it's it's about my life, it's for my dissertation. Um, I am also, I'm just going to throw this out there, I'm looking for some beta readers. If you're somebody that would like to be a beta reader and what that means is you read through my stuff and you give me some feedback on it. It's kind of helpful if you are a reader um, and might be able to give me some constructive feedback on that because I'm heading for the stars with this dissertation mark. I want it to be really good um, and my deadline is the end of August. So if that's something you're interested in, please email me. My email is in the description box below. Um, but yes, I'm writing this piece at the moment, it's life piece and when I look back at the person, mm, do not get emotional, God I got emotional so often don't arm these ones, the piece, when I look back at the girl I was <clears throat> to the girl I am now, I'm so much stronger. That said, people look at me and think, oh she's really strong and maybe they don't think when they will throw a comment my way that I'll be able to take and I'm very open about the fact that I am very, what's the word, dad used to say you were really sensitive. Um, but that doesn't necessarily need to be a bad thing. I'm listening to an audio book at the minute for somebody called Anne Lamott and she's written a book called Bird by Bird or Word by Word, Bird by Bird, a very famous book and uh, I'm listening to the audio book which is Word by Word and she says in there she was raised as a child and always kind of slated for being so sensitive and the things that she said I really resonated with. Like she would watch the news uh, and be really really upset with what's on the news now that's me I can't even watch the news because I just I would it would go over and over in my mind and I can remember as a teenager we had things like the Bradford fire disaster happened and the um, Anfield disaster no that wasn't at Anfield sorry the Hillsborough disaster yeah um, 
and I can remember that was my first sort of realization of oh my god really awful things happen in this world in our world like if it's sort of like third world sometimes as a child you can detach from that a little bit because you don't see it as part of your world and and that was just like oh um and I can remember shutting myself away in the toilet and having a moment with myself thinking that sounded wrong <laughs> I'm not going to edit that out um I was, a, I was a kid, all right, okay, so let's take that somewhere else, oh, shut up, um, so I was there thinking, oh my god, this is a really awful thing that's happened, and I struggled with that, and sort of from that moment, I decided I would kind of try and not look at negative things like that, because it just upset me so, so much, oh, that person, I don't want that person in my, there we go, um, and, uh, oh, sorry, here we go, the train of thought was good, wasn't it? those of you who are local you're going to know exactly where I am this traffic it's just day in day out um, and the other thing is that what Anne Lamott said is that she had a friend whose wife uh, who's sorry whose mother was being beaten by the husband and she'd go home and she'd cry about that and night she'd be like why you know why is this allow, allowed to happen why do these things carry on and and she said she did a speech one time and she made people it was an American phrase that I don't know but she asked audience members to raise their hands if their mother or father had ever told them to go out in the garden and pick something I don't know what the something was for them to be whipped with and she said half the audience put their hands up and I'm as I'm hearing this I'm like oh my god and I understand her as a child and I was criticized for being sensitive she was criticized for being sensitive but that's what makes us beautiful writers is that we take all of this kind of life stuff and internalize it um, so much as that is a good thing because you're a writer and because you can be really um mm, i don't know the word for other people you know you i can i'm a really good listener and i really care for other people um but that can also mean that you're sensitive to other people's comments so if that's you and you are sensitive to other people's comments and you don't know where to go with that sit with it first acknowledge that that is you because i'm with you fist bump there um so we are like that and doesn't mean that we're a bad person at all in fact it's the opposite it means that we're lovely people but it means that those people shouldn't be doing that to anybody but certainly not people that are sensitive because that's going to be really um you know tricky but try and not feel bad about it if you've got a story that you want to share and you either want to share it, I might even actually try and get a few of these together and put it in a blog post. Um, I wanted to sing that, put it in a blog post. Do you know that song? Uh, let's see, I can't even remember, I think it's Beyonce. Um, so, <laughs> I'm not being ditzy today. Um, yeah, so, so, ugh, yeah, I am. Right. So yeah, if you want to share that story and you don't want it to be public and put it in the description box below, then send it to me on my email and I might get a few of these together. Where someone said something that's really harmed you and that is you brought forward into this life and you don't quite know what to, how to like move forwards from it. But it might not leave you, but just accept it and just think, well, that is it. That's that's that. That was their problem. They was nasty. They shouldn't have been. And um, and just know that you're awesome. And I think so. Um. And if you agree with me that you are awesome, you can always smash that thumbs up button because um, why not? So anyway, I hope you had a great weekend and I hope you're having a good week coming up ahead. The weather in the UK is not going to be brilliant. We've got some rain coming in, which is a bit pants. Um, and I just wanted, and I might start doing this regularly, I just wanted to have a little chat with you just really quickly, like a chit chat. Like my news is, I went there, the, the, the sort of vloggy kind of fashion, which I don't normally do on these, but my news, um, I took myself off for a date for one on Friday night, because it was really weird. I was stuck in and I was like, nothing to do. Mother's driving us bananas, another story. Um, so I decided to go and watch the film yesterday. Um, it stars H H Himish Patel, who used to play Tamwa in EastEnders, and I was a massive fan of him then, because he's so dry the way he comes across with his sense of humour, absolutely brilliant and um, it involves the Beatles and music all passion 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 things and uh, I went and watched the film and I was not disappointed it was absolutely hilariously funny um, I was smiling pretty much all the way through there was parts of it that made me want to feel like I was gonna cry sorry I put the aircon on that went really noisy didn't it um, the music was cracking they put a little twist on it they didn't try and make him sound like he was the Beatles because 
you can't do that, that's impossible. But um, yeah, so it's called Yesterday and it's a story, of, I won't tell you the plot line too much, but basically something happens when uh, there's only him in the world that knows the Beatles songs. The Beatles, it's almost like parallel universe stuff, I'm guessing. Um, so something happened and the Beatles were non-existent anymore. So he decided to re-release their music and it's the story of how that happened. Yeah, it was funny, it was thought provoking, it was um, a little bit of romance thrown in there, which I always quite like because that's the sort of stuff that I like to write about as well. And um, yeah, and it was just brilliant. Really enjoyed that. So take yourselves off and go and see that. Take some time out of your day. I am going to crack on with my journey and wish you a brilliant week. This is quite a long motivational Monday, isn't it? If you're this far in, can you please hashtag below yesterday? And then you will, I will know that you're still with me and that you're the hardcore Motivational Monday people that really want to change your life. Um, okay, brilliant fun. Um, been great chatting to you. I've enjoyed it. I hope you've enjoyed it too. I'm still on that thing of like, got to edit these videos. Um, I'm probably going to release some more of the last weekend one, which was Canva, which was brilliant. If you was at Canva, hello to you. Um, yeah, so that was absolutely great. And uh, I noticed that the subscriber count has really gone up since we've um, put a few more vlogs out there like that. I am planning on booking a couple of travel trips. So I'm going to be doing some more vlogging traveling. Uh, and I'm really excited for that. I cannot even tell you. Um, come over to the Instagram as well because I always upload on the Instagram stories when I'm traveling too. So, yeah, I'm going to end this vlog now and I will catch you later. Take care of yourselves.